Big E gives a medical update. Another family member wants to join the bloodline. And Brian Danielson says he's ready for retirement. I'm Jordy in the bank and welcome to Wrestling Republic News, your daily show which brings you all the dirt sheet wrestling news in the time it takes you to drink your morning coffee. Now let's get into it. Big E has given us a medical update and revealed that he is content with his life. Now, back in 2022, we all know that Big E suffered a very severe injury, fracturing the C1 and C6 vertebrae in his back. Luckily, there was no spinal cord or ligament damage. However, the injury was severe and we've not seen Big E in action in the ring since that point. Now, following some stem cell treatment, Big E has given an update to Adrian Hernandez from Unlikely. Adrian asked whether there was a cutoff and when he would be content with deciding that he was never going to be in the ring again. Answering back to that, Big E said that he's been content from day one. Although he doesn't rule out a cutoff day or anything like that, he's always been content and focused on what he does have rather than what he doesn't have. He said that he enjoys being part of WWE in things like the countdown shows, etc. So at the end of the day, as much as I want to see Big E, as much as I'm sure you guys want to see Big E back in the ring, health does come first at the end of the day. And if he's happy, then I'm happy. John Cena will not return to the ring after his retirement. John Cena shocked fans up and down the world this year when he announced that 2025 will be his farewell tour. And he means it. He's doubled down on it, speaking with Liam Crowley of comicbook.com. He's gone on to say that when he hangs it up in December, there isn't a check writer in the world with enough money to change his mind. He doesn't want to continue for ego or financial gain. He believes that he's built up a level of authenticity and trust with his fans, both that do and don't like him over the years. And he thinks that coming back after a farewell to it would kind of betray that. He then went on to say that he will still be around as an ambassador for WWE. We just won't see him in the shorts. He'll be wearing a suit. Now, I do not for a second dispute that John Cena means every word he says in this. He says it himself. When he says he's done, he's done. So, guys, if you want to see that farewell tour, go and get tickets when they come available because I genuinely believe him. Zilla Fatu wants to work with Jacob Fatu. Once again, now for those that don't know, Zilla Fatu and Jacob Fatu were together a lot on the indies before Jacob's move to WWE. Now, in an interview with Ashley off the air, she asked Zilla, would you take the opportunity at working with Jacob again somewhere down the line? And he said, absolutely. Why would I not want the Samoan werewolf on my team? He then went on to say it is a little bit deeper than that and he owes a lot of his career to Booker and to Jacob and wanted to give a shout out to Jacob for giving him the knowledge that he needed at the time they were working together. Now going off that and going off the clips I've seen of these two together, I for one certainly would like to see these two combine again under WWE. What about you guys? Let us know in the comments. Brian Danielson has said that he is ready for retirement. At AEW All In, Swerve Strickland will go up against Brian Danielson in a career versus title match. Now, this is something that Danielson fans everywhere not necessarily may want to hear. However, in the recent episode of the Nikki and Bree show, Danielson has gone on to state that he is kind of ready for retirement. Brian Danielson then went a little bit further and explained more as to why he's ready to retire, explaining things like family. He said that there's only a handful of time that the kids actually want us to be around and he wanted to be around for that. So I respect that. He also went on to say, and we all are aware of Brian Danielson's medical history, neck, back, you name it. There's plenty of reasons why maybe it is time. And I think we can all agree as fans that Brian Danielson is one of and will be one of the greatest professional wrestlers of a generation, if not all time. So he's given his body to us. He's given his life to us. It's time for you to take it for yourself, Brian. If you've got to take this time, you take this time. However, the question that I'm going to ask you guys is, do you think he is going to win at All In? Or do you think he will lose and retire? 
let us know in the comments. That is all the news we've got time for today. Thank you guys for watching as always. If you liked the video, hit that like button and subscribe. It helps us out more than you know. And if you love wrestling content, tune in every day on YouTube, Twitch, Instagram to the Wrestling Republic daily broadcast at 8 p.m. UK, 3 p.m. Eastern, 12 p.m. Pacific. This has been Wrestling Republic News. I've been Jordy in the bank. You stay classy wrestling fans. Have a good day.